This is part two. So, like you. First of all, I'm going to give all honor, praise, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Also, the true other of the King of Kings, who to himself, Yahweh Shah, Amashiach. Also, the final father, the one west. This is Father Kings, coming right back at you yet, yeah, whatever less. So you guys say Shalom, and peace and blessings be unto you. Yep, so I'm just picking off part two of our lesson, you know, um, talking about the spiritual devil, which a lot of these women are going to get judged by, you know. And when you read the scriptures, it talks about. Um, in the book of Daniels, it talks about um, some, should work, well, some should work with everlasting life, some should work with everlasting shame and contempt, you know. So a lot of you women out there are going to experience that spiritual death. That's why Apostle Paul said in the New Testament, a woman who lives in pleasure is dead while she lives. Because this society is set up for the woman. It goes back to feminist worship, woman worship, which goes back to ancient Rome in Babylon. They put the woman on the pedestal. It's nothing new under the sun, you know which is an idol worship, which is opposed to the law, statutes, and commandments, you know? So I just want to touch on that real quick. A lot of you women are going to experience a spiritual death. The Bible even talks about that second death in the book of Revelations, you know? A lot of you women are going to experience that, you know, because you guys refuse to repent. That's why Paul said a woman who lives in pleasure is dead while she liveth, because you do not seek a husband, and your your whole purpose design on the earth was to be uh, to have, be a helpmate unto your husband. And you women do the opposite. And I'm getting on you women because the beginning of sin came through the woman. And the reason why sin came on the earth because the women are doing exactly what Eve did in the beginning. Did not hearken into their husbands. And that's how sin came in the world. That's how death, death came into the world. But this particular time here, you women ain't going to have no excuse. Because you have saviors everywhere. Like the scripture talks about the saviors. You know, our savior is the king of kings, Yahweh Shah. But you women, we are your savior. Because why? We um we join heirs with Christ, you know. Under his authority, we are able to receive the kingdom. You know, it Lord, what do we, we endure to the end and keep our faith in him? We will receive the kingdom. In the, the book of Obadiah talks about how saviors come from my Zion and, they sh and, and the kingdom should be the Lord's. It tells you about how the saviors are going to judge the people, you know? I'll tell you about that in the book of Obadiah. So we are here because we're watching for you women's souls and you men's souls as well. Because not just get on the women, but also you wicked men who refuse to repent, you're going to get judged as well. But I must get on a woman because the majority of our nation consists of women. We read Isaiah, Isaiah the fourth chapter, verse one, you know? But but you men gonna get judged as well for those who refuse to repent. But there's gonna be more women being judged than men because there's more women, like I said, in Israel than men. You know, the scripture talking about how seven women stay called one man, like I mentioned earlier. So I just want to touch on this lesson real quick. I pray you sisters out there repent. You know, cleave to a husband. If you don't have a husband, pray to the Most High, send you one. You know. And with that, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to the most like Yahweh, his home son, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, and also the final truth by the one in the West. This father king or I get you yet yeah, another lesson. Shalom. And I will say this real quick. You have to come out of that feminist mind state. You're not going to never ever have a husband of the most high, a man of understanding with that feminist mind state. Because a woman was never meant to rule. The Bible talks about it's a new thing on the earth. That the woman should, should, should surpass the man. That's something new. It was never like that of old. That's something Esau set up. The woman was never meant to be in authority. You see what happened to Jezebel. That what happens to Jezebel. She tried to take authority. Like scripture said, a woman should not serve authority over the man. And I hope you women take heed. But if you refuse, those who refuse to take will not take heed, you're going to get judged. You know? You're going to get judged. You know? And uh, with that, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to the Father Yahweh. Also, the children of the King Kings, Royal to Himself, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach. Also, the final father, for the one West. As far as the Kings, wherever we get you get, with a lesson, Shalom. And, and I, I want to close out real quick. It says the beginning of sin came through the woman. And all weakness is little compared to the weakness of a woman, right? That's why it behooves you women to go ahead, repent, turn from your evil, wicked ways. Cleave to a man of understanding and learn your heritage and learn the custom of Israel. And I'm talking about you so-called black Latinos and the American Indians. And with that, I want to close it out. 
all praise to the Most High Yahweh. He's the worst on Yahweh, Shah Mashiach, and also the Founder of the Truth by the One in the West. Shalom Israel. Peace and blessings. And Shalom.